Hi there guys, this is PTY Trader. Today I'm going to show you how to install Komodo D on the OS X uh, system using nothing but the terminal. And I've uh, come up with the Mac OS guide, which is similar to the Windows guide, but obviously tweaked for Mac. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to download the OS X binaries and we're going to extract the files to our desktop. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. Some people are confused about this step but for some reason, and um, I will show you what I do with this file. If it's in the downloads folder, which it usually is, I'm going to go ahead and extract it. Now that it is extracted, I will rename it to Komodo, and I will move it to my desktop. Okay, so now that the folder's in my desktop, you can see that we have Komodo CLI and some other windows in here that we'll go through. And we've pretty much just covered step two. So now we want to start Komodo Daemon, and we want to reach that same folder through our command line. So the folder is in my desktop, so I will CD desktop Komodo. And... Um, I'm going to run the Komodo D command, okay? And Komodo D. Now, like I put on step four, you will receive an error. And this is because it's the first time that you've run Komodo D. So what we need to do is now we need to create a comp file. Now, this is going to be a little difficult for someone that doesn't know the, the system on Mac. But for example, there's hidden files on Mac that uh, you can only reach in the application support directory. So how do we reach that? I will put cd, go back to the normal directory, and then cd users, my username, library, application, support. And I can uh, see what files are in here, and I can see that there's a Komodo file or a Komodo directory. So I want to go into this directory and I want to create the comp, the comp file. That's what I want to make in here. So what I will do is nano komodo conf. Now once you have the conf window open, you can copy paste the information on the guide. And we're going to modify it because this is supposed to be your RPC user. So we can PTYX, we can make a very secure user. And the same for the password. Okay, and we X out, hit yes to save it. And now we should have a Komodo com file. Now that's perfect. So that means we are almost ready to run Komodo. We first have to create our Zcash params folder. So that's pretty much on step six. So let's go ahead and start with that. And what I'm going to do first is I'm going to back out of uh, the folders. And I want to navigate once again to the library applications hidden uh, directory. Whoops. Okay, give me one moment. Okay, there we go. Sorry about that. It's application support. So I will change that on the guide. And I want to look in here. Okay. And I can create now the Zcash params directory. So he, here's where we want to create it. And you can um, copy paste mkdir, mkdir, <laughs> Zcash params. And now we have a directory called Zcash params. So perfect. 
Let's go ahead and download our ZK Snark Proven Keys and Verifying Keys. I've already downloaded them. Uh, it'll take you probably about 20 minutes to download. So if you have them in your downloads folder, such as this, you will be able to use a script that I made to copy them, which is the script. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and use it. I'm going to back out. And what it is doing is, it is, I use ditto to copy the verifying keys and paste them to the Zcash params. That's what's happening. Um, I go ahead and do the same thing as well for the other file. And this will take a little bit longer because it's a quite heavy file. So I will go ahead and let it paste. But just to explain to you what's happening here is this is pretty standard for, uh, for Mac. You will have to input the users, your username, downloads folder, and the name of the file. Space, and then the same uh, sequence, but to the uh, directory that you are pasting to. So all you would have to modify would be your username in order to, to do this if you don't know the command line very well. And once it's pasted, we're ready to start Komodo D. So I'm going to pause the video until it's fully pasted. And, oh, it looks like it is now. Let's see. Okay. Okay, so once it is pasted, you can go ahead and start the Komodo D, which I've set up here. Once again, you can just copy paste. Okay, so Komodo has started and it's starting to sync currently. So we can actually verify this by opening a second window. Navigating to the Komodo folder on your desktop. Komodo CLI get info. We can see that there's zero blocks, so it's probably, uh, oh, it's got one connect connection, so it's probably going to start syncing. And we can check it again. I usually give it a few minutes until it starts syncing. Um, it depends on your connectivity, but I'm on a VM, uh, so it'll take a little bit to sync. In any case, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video, and I will be back once the blockchain is synced, and we can start with the other operations, such as uh, creating a new address and such. So I had to switch um, laptops because I started the video on a VM and I had a connectivity problem. So I went ahead and installed it on a regular machine and I'm syncing the blockchain now. And what I just wanted to, to go through, because once you get to this point, all you have to do is wait for the syncing to happen. However, um, I've gone ahead and in the guide I've set some of the uh, the main commands and I want to show you how to generate a new address so for example if you're syncing uh, the blockchain at this time uh, you can check how far along you are by doing Komodo CLI get info and it'll show you that you're on block 553 um, and previously we were on block 295 so we know we're syncing now and what we want to do is we want to create a new address since um, most of us are going to be doing this as a first time thing so we can go ahead and copy paste this and we have a new address now so I go ahead and take the address down and the next thing that I do is I want the private key so you can dump the private key by um, by doing Komodo CLI dump priv key you paste the address you hit enter and it gives you the private key. So now we have a syncing wallet. We have a public key to receive funds and a private key in order to claim them. So this is very important. Uh, now you have your full wallet, basically. So you can actually uh, keep this in a text file or I encrypt it myself when I keep them in the text file because I like to keep the private key separate, even if I have to wallet that. 
So uh, yeah, so what you would do from this point is you would deposit funds into the address and you would wait for this to uh, sync. The longest chain is 478,336 blocks. So as you see, you have quite a ways to go. This would probably take around 24 hours to sync. Um, so that's it, guys. I, I, I'm going to be making another video, a separate video, to show you how to operate it once it's installed with more commands. Uh, but for now, that's how you install it and how you create a new address. And uh, this is how you can start using it with the non-GUI on Mac. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, sorry I had to switch computers. But uh, we made it through the video. And thank you, guys. Go ahead and visit uh, Slack if you have any questions or supernet.org. Um, also visit barterdex.com if you're a community leader and want to contact us, us about barterdex. And thank you guys. Have a great day.